Good morning, Northtown. I'm Emmanuel Rodriguez. And I'm Josiah Mendoza. Today is Wednesday, January 24th. Today we'll get a look at what's buzzing around Northtown, discuss current events and world news, and much, much more. All on MTV News. Let's start with world news. Today in world news, we bring you the details about the end of the government shutdown, as well as the airborne marriage celebrated by the Pope. The three-day-long government shutdown ended on Monday after the Senate signed a temporary bill that would fund the government for three weeks. This comes after a three-day-long dispute between Democrats and Republicans in regards to immigration, more specifically the fate of DACA dreamers or undocumented immigrants brought to the U.S. as children. The talks were at a stalemate for three days. An agreement was reached after Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell pledged that the Republicans intend to take up these issues by February 8th. Otherwise, the government will shut down again. On January 18th, on a flight from Santiago to Iquique, Chile, Pope Francis married a flight attendant couple mid-flight. The couple, Paula Pades and Carlos Chufardi, were married in a civil ceremony in 2010, but their plans for a church wedding were put on hold when an earthquake struck and damaged their church. The Pope said he celebrated the marriage because why put off what can be done today for tomorrow? In today's internet highlight, Amazon creates a new store that could revolutionize the way we shop. Amazon, the incredibly popular online shopping website, has just opened a new store in Seattle called Amazon Go. This store really stands out at its first with no checkouts. Instead, hundreds of cameras and sensors mounted to the ceiling identifies each customer while also tracking what products they select. Even more awesome, waiting in line is no longer a problem, as purchases are directly billed to the customer's credit cards when they leave the store. Some shoppers have even been quoted saying it was easy. They felt like they were shoplifting. Now let's look at what's buzzing around Northtown. The Science Olympiad team placed third this weekend at Missouri Valley College Olympiad. Great job. Our student council is part of the organization, organization MASC, Missouri Association of Student Councils, and we just received news that Ellie Kloppenstein has won the Student of the Month Award for January, a well-deserved recognition. Speech and debate are three-time 2018 white division conference champs. They receive first place individual event sweeps, first place debate sweeps tied with Staley, and first place overall sweeps. In addition to 13 first teams all-conference awards and 12 second team all-conference awards. Good work. Congrats to the Singers Dance Team on our awards at Regionals. First place hip-hop, fifth place prom, and overall outstanding showmanship in hip-hop. Maggie Mitchell also got 10th place in sophomore solos. Congratulations. Now it's time for a sports update. Lady Hornets move on to the championship game versus Carl Junction after a 64-41 win over Tulsa East Central. Chandler Frater leads all scorers with 24 points, 10 rebounds, and 6 assists. Jemiah Powell-Smith scored 14 points. Cassidy Turner and Angela, Angel Lee both add 7 points. Great job and good luck in the championship game. In wrestling, freshman Xavier Doolin takes third place at Winnetonka Tournament in 170-pound weight class. At the Leavenworth Power weight lifting meet, the junior boys took first overall, the Lady Hornets took fourth, and the male division got third overall. Olivia Irvine took sixth place in the 100 freestyle at their swim meet. Congrats. And there's our show for today, North Sound. To find more NTV episodes, subscribe to our YouTube channel, NTV at NKCHS. To stay up to date on everything that's buzzing around North Sound, follow us on Twitter at North Town News. And for photos and announcements, you can find us and like us on Facebook at NKC Journalism. Thanks for watching, North Town. Keep it classy. And as always, it's a great day to be a Hornet.